Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to Life on the Wrist. Hope you guys are doing well today. Uh, H. Moser came out with their final edition of the Swiss Alp watch. I wanted to talk about this piece and the two videos that they released. I thought I would react to them and give you my thoughts on them. Uh, if you don't know, H. Moser has created a watch that looks very, very similar to the Apple watch. And so um, it's almost a meme at this point with what they're, what they're doing and how they're comparing it to some of the other pieces. So um, I thought this was just a really cool video that they, that they um, or two videos that they came out with for this watch. This is basically like the final upgrade to this piece that they've, they've created. Um, I think I've done a blog post or a video on this, this watch before, so I'm not going to really get into like the technical details on this watch, but more like how this impacts the watch world and like, you know, my thoughts on, on this piece. So um, without further ado, let's get into the first one. The first one I'm going to do is the loading complete video. Um, this was posted on HMOS's YouTube channel, so be sure to check it out. I'll put a link in the description to the original video. Um, let's go. but you see that loading um, little loading indicator at the bottom of the watch that's actually um, that actually moves as the watch runs which I thought was pretty cool obviously this video is kind of like making fun of the fact that you know you get all these notifications on Apple watches and it can be very distract distracting and this watch obviously takes the design aesthetics from it so it's kind of like poking fun at it um, and then that final upgrade is that little wheel at the bottom, which I thought was really, really interesting. And they also have a mechanical element to that as well, because it does um, kind of go go through the the, the time. I'll jump into this, the second video and then I'll kind of give you my thoughts on like the overall, um, this overall kind of campaign that they've done. So the next one is the Swiss Alp watch final upgrade. God, it's so cool that little 10 seconds thing. Such a beautiful watch. Such a deep black dial. Okay, so um, just to kind of give you an overview of the, the watch itself, it's obviously a variation on the watch that they came out with, which mimics the shape and case design of the Apple Watch. The point is to kind of poke fun at the Apple Watch and, and basically talk about how it's not really a watch and this is, this is a little bit more like that. It has this really dark black dial um, and it's just got uh, the hours and minutes hand. Um, on this version, um, you can see at six o'clock, there's actually an indication that when you, if that was on an Apple watch, it's basically like a loading, um, loading circle, but they've decided to put it on this watch and that's essentially, um, shows the elapsed, the option of seconds of the seconds on this watch. Um, if you didn't notice in the first one, they were obviously making fun of the fact that on your Apple watch, you get so many notifications and on this watch, there really is just one app that you're going to have on this watch. Unlike how many app, apps you can actually have on an Apple watch. Um, and that is time. It's going to tell you what, what time it is. Um, a lot of people, uh, H. Moser is a brand, like either you love them or hate them and they will, um, they are true, true Swiss, uh, it's a true Swiss company and they believe in uh, Swiss made first. Um, and um, I think it's cool because they, for this watch, it definitely feels like they are trying to, um, trying to counter the whole movement to wearing um, smartwatches. Smartwatches obviously cannibalize the big portion of the um, watch industry. It's what if you you know walk around any any town or city, you probably will see someone wearing some sort of smartwatch, and the Apple Watch is one of those that, that many people choose. Um, and that means uh, mechanical watches are not going to be worn as much uh, by these by, by consumers. Um, and so what I think H Moser is trying to do here is say, hold on, you know. 
we can create something very, very similar to this, but it's also like super disruptive. Like this is not a watch. We are making mechanical watch manufacturers. Like, we make watches. We we are the, the people who make watches and those are really just uh, devices that you're able to wear on your wrist. I think this type of campaign is exactly what watch companies need to do more of. I think H. Moser is revolutionary in the way that they market their products and the way in which they interact with their customers and also kind of how they, I don't wanna say they have no boundaries, but it's like they don't really care what other people are gonna say about their, their advertisements or the watches that they produce. Um, obviously they've done some incredible pieces. I've talked about them at length, about like the Endeavor, the, the minute repeater that they've made. Uh, it's really beautiful. But um, back to this piece, like this is the type of campaign that watch, watch uh, companies really should be running um, if they want to try and compete against smart watch companies. Um, they should be, you know, making fun of the fact that, you know, smart watches you have to upgrade. Mechanical watches from these types of companies like H. Moser, that's what, you don't need to, to upgrade this watch. It's just got one thing. It's going to tell you the time and that's what a watch is supposed to do. Um, I think it's really, really cool. I love the little loading um, seconds on the bottom of the, um, at six o'clock on this watch. I think it really drums home the fact that like, this is their way of making fun of Apple watches. The fact that they have to be upgraded. Um, I, have a, I have an Apple watch and I have to tell you this, you need a certain amount of space on your Apple Watch in order to, to do the upgrades. And I've gotten countless notifications from my watch saying, oh, you don't have enough space on your on your watch to do this upgrade. And that's so frustrating because then you have to like figure out what you can take off, try and reset the watch so that it has it makes enough space. It's just super annoying. And then, you know, I think H. Moser is trying to show like here, like this is, this you don't even need it. It's just gonna continuously have this little um, loading uh, icon at, at six o'clock. Um, the movement on this watch, I don't know if you saw it in the video, the movement on this watch is absolutely beautiful. If you didn't see, like, have this beautiful plate. Um, and then I love the fact that the balance wheel is down kind of at, um, down at, uh, the, the bottom right corner. I think that's a really beautiful touch from them. And obviously immaculate finishing from one of the best, in my opinion, one of the best, um, uh, you know, uh, smaller watch brands, uh, out there, uh, independent watch brands, uh, for sure. Um, you know, I think there's for this, like when you think about it, like obviously these are different price points, but I think this is supposed to just be for like, this design is totally for a laugh. You're supposed to kind of, um, chuckle at this. This is a total meme. Yeah, if you, if, if you, you've ever wanted to see one in the watch world, like this is definitely it. And I really like the, like each Moser does this. They, they, it's almost like they don't, they don't, they don't give a, you know, they really do not care. Um, they will make fun of something and they'll take it all the way to the end. They even made fun, like, think about the, the Swiss cheese watch that they made, the, the case that I was actually manufactured by H. Moser out of Swiss cheese. Like, they're totally making fun of the Swiss made, um, Swiss made name that you see on all, a lot of these brands. I think a lot of the larger watch manufacturers need to take a, uh, feather out of out of H. Moser's cap and really start to try and like compete uh, and and be a little bit more obvious in the fact that like you know, smart watches are taking market share from watch manufacturers. It is no secret, um, and the only way to really like compete against them is to do something revolutionary, and not pretend like you're a silo and you. You don't even, if you don't acknowledge the fact that smart watches exist, they will never kind of like compete with you or be on the level of some of the watches that you're producing. Like that's the wrong approach, completely wrong approach. And I hope that some watch makers take a feather out of, out of H. Moser's cap. Now, H. Moser is an independent watch company. They don't have shareholder or as many shareholders as some of these larger brands do. So that probably has a lot, that probably plays into, um, you know, why H. Moser can do this type of advertising, but, um, I hope we see some of it come to life a little bit for some of these other brands because uh, uh, they definitely need it. Um, so congratulations, H. Moses. This is a really beautiful watch. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to both of these videos so you can see them. Um, let me know in the comment section below what you think about this iteration. I think it's a, a fairly unique one and some really beautiful um, watchmaking, obviously, um, and really hits home with, with the fact that smart watches exist and mechanical watches are actually a whole lot simpler. Uh, I would rather have this this version than an Apple Watch. One, I love watches, so clearly, but also like 
the one thing that with Apple Watches is the incessant notifications you get is just absolutely annoying. I'd rather have like a minute repeater and that'd be the only notification that really like comes off of my watch if you wanna, if you wanna call it that. Um, so yeah, check out the video, um, these two videos in the description, I'll put a link to them there. Uh, and let me know in the comment section below what you think about this watch, I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to uh, Life on the Wrist. We create videos about watches, just about any topic you can think of in the watch world. That's what we make videos on. So be sure to uh, subscribe to the channel and check out some of our other videos um, if you're interested. Also, if you wouldn't mind smashing that like button for us for the YouTube algorithm, it really does help us out get these videos to other watch enthusiasts who may be interested in some of our videos. Um, and with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching and until next time.